I think first and foremost, we will get to we'd like to know from the so-called the, the owner or the client or even the friend um, what is their preference. Design comes in many forms. It could be a minimalist, it could be tropical, they like something a bit more warm, they like something a bit uh, more fresh. So it all depends on the individual preference. We will then use that as a basic basis to come up with the uh, so-called their color palettes. We use uh, all these materials that we have here and then we create a mood board a mood board of the materials also comes with the um, in, a, in a way the concept whether it's going to be like uh, uh, areas where it's dining or work from home or uh, a children's uh, bedroom so all these sets the concept and the mood of the specific space This mood board actually uh, entails the type of quality or materials that we're going to use. Whether it's going to be uh, timber type, or whether it's going to be marble, or it's going to be glass. Th the reason why we have a huge collection of samples is because these are the samples that we will use to set the mood. And it's very important because the owner or the buyer or the client might not know what they want. But when we t talk to them, we will try to capture their preference. From there, we will set the team for them. In design like Cove, um, Illing House for example, we will have to understand the purchaser's profile. Whether they are a family, a young couple with a, a child, or is it going to be a old folk? Or is it going to be a, uh, even a, Elders, a big family. So with that, once we understand or we know or we profile their, their so-called lifestyle, that's where we set the team of the house. So if let's say we go for semi-D, then we know it's a different range of family. Each room also comes with different team because if it's elderly, then we choose a more dark tone because you know, soft for them. But if it's a, for a younger couple, we choose a more vibrant color. You know, so that's how we set the team. Everybody uh, would like to have changes in their home from time to time. Um, with now MCO and also uh, economy is not that, uh, shall I say, uh, great, you know. So you want to do some little uh, home refreshing feel. Most important is you you follow what your heart tells you because it costs money to change furniture but you can actually uh, use small items like throw pillows or throws you know or change pictures just to give it a new fresh look it doesn't need to cost you an arm and a leg to do it even follow the festive season you can do that by just adding one or two items just to give it a boost okay, without costing too much <laughs>